DTU Wind Energy operates some of the most advanced test and research facilities in the world. Researchers and companies can test everything from nanoscale materials, large-scale structures, to full demonstration of turbines. Introducing three of our flagship facilities, starting with the Paul Lacour Tunnel. It is the largest university-owned wind tunnel in the world. Now we are standing on, on the top of what we call the test section. So below we have uh, the wind that can go up to 400 kilometers an hour uh, and test different uh, models. The wind tunnel is a closed return tunnel. The fan is driven by a 2.4 megawatt motor, giving a wind speed of around 380 kilometers an hour similar to three times a hurricane. The nice thing uh, with the wind tunnel is that, that everything is controlled. If you go to the field and test a, a wind turbine, the flow will be super turbulent and fluctuating and, and you will have a hard time measuring what's actually coming to the turbine. Here, things are constant. We can change the parameters as we like. And in this way, we can test uh, the, uh, you can say, components of the blade uh, part by part and be in control all the time. And that also means that we can accelerate the design. So if we had to make a design change, go to the field and test it, then we had to make a complete blade, test it for a long time because it is difficult to measure. Here we can do it pretty fast and um, also very dedicated in a short time. Onto the large scale facility. Here researchers perform advanced structural tests and loading of turbine blades to provide accurate data about strength, reliability and fatigue. We built this place to uh, do research projects. We need places where we can play with technologies, where we have time and the facility to try things out. We try it out and we come, we see problems and then we try to solve them. When we have a strong research environment here with some really good researchers with many different expertise and knowledge, then that's a perfect group to, to solve these problems and, and find solutions and then we can try them out here. And uh, we can do that on small blades and then we can demonstrate it on larger blades. We can go up to this blade, for instance, which is almost 50 meter. But the, the biggest blades, of course, are, are much bigger. And industry is usually taking the last step of taking the technologies from, from this demonstration level to, to full commercial level. I'm passionate about uh, structures. I mean, I've worked with structural engineering all my life. And to make structures better, safer, understand how they fail uh, and, and be able to, to hinder that with designing them better. I mean, and also to pass that on to, to the next generation of engineers that will take this further. Our third flagship facility is Ustril. It is located at the west coast of northern Jutland. Some of the best wind conditions in the world allow the manufacturers to test full-size turbines before they enter the market. Østrigel has the huge advantage that it has really, really good wind for actually these kind of tests we are doing. It has a really high wind, but also the low wind, so it has good spread. And that means if the manufacturers are doing a change in the turbine, it could be hardware, it could be software, they in really short time have the response from the turbine. They get new data in saying, okay, we tweaked there, it gave a little bit more power there. They get that answer right away. Due to the close proximity to the North Sea, Ustrild is perfect for testing offshore turbines. The test stands have capacity to test the new generation of mega turbines up to 330 meters tall. Generally speaking, we are, we are testing the prototypes of the manufacturers. And for those uh, prototypes, they need to be verified and certified to be able to be sold. And for that, they need some standardized test. We are doing those standardized tests as a performance test and a load test. So how much the turbine is physically loaded. And those tests we are doing in Ørstedil mostly and in Husøer. And, and the thing is that the manufacturers, they just say they want a new turbine. 
saying they want this target size, then they design it, and then they build it, and then it comes to the, the big test of does the turbine work? Does it produce what it's needed? And is the loading of the turbine as planned? And for that, they, they hire us sometimes, and we go at Ørsdal, we put on the instruments, and then we do the tests. Other facilities include the Composite Materials Lab, the wind scanner, the rotating test rig, and the V52 research wind turbine. At DTU Wind Energy, more than 250 employees of 36 different nationalities work with research, innovation, scientific advice, and education. We are a global knowledge hub for wind energy research, and we collaborate with companies and research organizations from around the world to develop the most effective wind energy technology on the planet.